The world's largest sundial. Sundial Sundials are just not one of those things we normally think about, right? I personally don't sit around thinking, I wonder about sundials, what do they do? Well, incredibly, the largest one in the world will generate nearly 400,000 kilowatt hours of electricity every single year. So how do they work and what do they actually do? Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And this project is called the Arch of Time. It will stand 100 feet tall and generate enough solar power every year to offset 40 people's home grid use. So could you, in theory, put one of these in your backyard? Well, you could if you had, say, no neighbors, possibly. In general, sundials are kind of cool, but they don't make as much sense as pure solar panels. However, Berlin architect Ricardo Mariano has designed an innovative new project for the city of Houston, Texas, that will generate nearly 400,000 kilowatt hours of electricity every year while acting as a public sundial. And it's also kind of a, an architectural sculpture, right? And it's some shade you could sit under and eat lunch. The project named Arco del Tempo, or Arch of Time, will be a 100 foot tall triumphal archway that will serve as the gateway to the city's east end, part of the second ward district for the city. It will have a roof covered in photovoltaic modules to produce electricity as well. It's a renewable energy power plant. The unique artwork is more than a sculpture, said Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner. It is a renewable energy power plant. It is a monument to a new era of energy. The city of Houston has always stood at the vanguard of energy innovation and the Arco del Tempo, or the Arch of Time, artwork stands in that tradition, highlighting Houston's role as an art city and as global leader in the energy transition. We are inspired by the vision and creative thinking, marrying clean energy, the built environment, and truly world-class art in Houston. So is he right? I mean, is Houston a world leader in renewable energy? Well, the straight answer for that is no. Now, Texas could, in theory, though, be the world's leader. It could be when it comes to renewables because of the massive amounts of wind in the state. But it hasn't committed uh, as much as other states have. For example, there's a state here in Australia that is running off almost solar alone. In fact, 90% solar. It sometimes has to turn solar off because there's too much energy in the grid. There's other states around the world that have definitely a higher percentage of renewable energy than Houston does. But Houston's amount of renewables is actually one of the highest of any area in North America. So in some ways, he does have a point. This architectural project is the result of dedicated work by the Land Art Generator Initiative, or LAGI, a nonprofit organization advancing solutions to the climate crisis with innovative designs that merge functionality with art. And I think it's true. I, I personally see sculptures. I don't know, don't know about you, but I see sculptures and I think, what is that? I mean, someone spent a lot of money on that thing. And I don't think it's really contributing anything. Now, a sundial is kind of an interesting concept. And I think it's something where you look at it and think, what is that? Hang on a minute. It actually does something. Now, if you're wondering what a sundial is, it's a it's a horological device that tells the time of day when direct sunlight shines by the apparent position of the sun of the sky. This is how we used to tell the time back centuries ago. In the narrowest sense of the word, it consists of a flat plate and a gnomon, which casts a shadow onto the dial. As the sun appears to move through the sky, the shadow aligns with different hour lines, which are marked on the dial to indicate that time of day. The style is the time-telling edge of the gnomon, though a single point or notice could be used. The gnomon casts a broad shadow. The shadow of the style shows the time. The gnomon may be a rod, wire, or elaborately decorated metal casting, and the style must be parallel to the axis of the Earth's rotation for the sundial to be accurate throughout the year. The style's single front horizontal is equal to the sundial's geographical latitude. Now, basically, to sum it up, a sundial is a way we used to tell the time and did so for thousands of years. The earliest sundial that we know about was shown in the archaeological record as shadow clocks, and they came from around 1500 BC from ancient Egyptian 
astronomy, and Babylonian astronomy. Now, since 2008, the LAGI has regularly called for an international competitors or international competitions, I should say, in cities around the world that generate designs demonstrating that climate solutions can be beautiful as well as useful. I think this is kind of both of those things, which is what I like about it. The Arch of Time was one such design, part of the LAGI 2019 competition for Houston's sister city, Abu Dhabi, but it was Houston that has decided to build the project in the end. So Abu Dhabi went, no, nah, we're not going to do it. And then went and built out a massive solar farm. Houston said, yeah, we think this is a good idea. It was a pleasure to be part of, said the architects who had the vision and actually completed the project. And personally, I think it's really a cool idea to come up with this innovative sundial, which is also a big shade sail, and it has solar, of course, solar PV all over the top of it. So it creates a huge amount of electricity. Now, it's not obviously massive. It's certainly not any kind of grid scale electricity. And I don't see these sorts of things being something we're going to see everywhere in order to solve the world's renewable energy problems or energy problems. But at the same time, there are so many weird looking sculptures that do absolutely nothing. And I think this is kind of a solution to that conundrum where surely there's a lot of people like me, right? That drive past and think, what exactly is that? That's a lot of money for I don't know what. This though, on the other hand, is the sort of thing where you look at it and think, what exactly is that? And then you find out, actually, it's a sundial. It tells the time and it generates renewable electricity. To me, that's really cool. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.